Different yet so similar, Opposites Attract is a long-standing mystery that's almost always unexplainable. You see it in humans, cats, dogs, and I mean pretty much everywhere, and yet nothing comes close to the MacBook Pro 16 and the Asus RG Zephyr Steel 16, in the grand scheme of things, let's just say that. They are so different, yet so similar, and I felt people should know about this because you might never know just what you're missing out on if you don't look past Asus RG's gaming pretext. Just like that, you might never know what you're missing out on if you don't subscribe to my channel. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and hit that bell icon while you're at it. Anyways, in the creative space, MacBooks, especially the 16-inch products, are almost the industry standard when it comes to photo or video editing, film, content creation on social media, programming, and so on. Almost because Windows laptops still give the raw power and program adaptability requirements the Apple products can't match, but industry standard nonetheless. Along with the Apple ecosystem and the Mac OS's ease of use, one of the biggest reasons people tend to favor the MacBooks is its low power consumption, compared to the PC or laptops. Thus, better battery life and less heat management is required, which translates to almost no maintenance and better portability. You also have bright, color accurate display options that a lot of Windows laptops can't even come close to, and with a very large community to support these laptops, you can easily get the most out of these laptops 100% of the time. However, pretty much on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the Asus RG Zephyr Steel 16 that at first glance seems so different, it feels as if it's a useless comparison. It's not that well known, it's quite heavy even though it's about the same size, it requires nearly twice the power to run due to its gaming centric design, and it's nowhere near the MacBooks when it comes to battery life. This is pretty much the same complaint you get with almost all other Windows laptops that matches or outperforms the MacBook Pro 16 inch. But this one has one thing that a MacBook Pro 16 inch does not have. A second screen. As a Mac user or any laptop user for the fact, you're probably questioning ergonomics right now. And I get it, it's probably one of its biggest issues. But the screen pad is touch, can be operated with a stylus, and is compatible with every single application thanks to it working literally as a second monitor. The second touch screen makes it easier to edit videos or photos, easier to create designs, easier to stream, and pretty much easier to do anything in the creative field compared to a MacBook Pro 16 inch. That's just how much a second screen is worth in the creative field. There are also other hidden advantages like a 100W USB Type-C charger, if you don't want to carry around the heavier 280W version, and upgradable SSD and RAM slots. The Zephyrus also gets a massive 6 speaker upgrade with the ASUS ROG's in-house AI based smart amplifier technology that is said to match if not beat the current gen MacBook Pro speakers considering no laptops currently come close to what the MacBook Pro speakers offer. So that could be interesting, but I doubt that is true, but you never know. If you subscribe though, it will improve my chances when I knock on Asus ROG's door for a test piece, or to get one of my own to test or review it and tell you guys what's what. So get subscribing and we will see. So there is a lot going for the Duo 16. However, the ROG does fall back when it comes to displays as the brightest option is only a QHD+. But if you can skip the brightness, you can get a color accurate 4K display with an interesting party trick. With a simple setting change, the 4K can switch literally, and I mean literally, to a Full HD 1080p display. So you can game or view without a 1080p content looking blurry like it would do on an Apple display or any other higher resolution display for the matter. This is an extra bit of versatility. I should mention that both the QHD Plus and the 4K 1080p have higher refresh rate as well compared to the MacBooks, and response times, thus again because gaming, and because of that both the displays do get a matte finish instead of a glossy finish, just keep that in mind. With all said, while both these laptops are so different, they pretty much do one thing equally as good as the other. They make creativity based work a whole lot easier, especially if you're on the move, each in their own way. The second screen in the Asus ROG saves you from a second monitor and opens a world of possibilities that no other laptop on this planet can offer. The MacBook on the other hand does not get any good gaming experience, but has a larger community support, longer battery life, better screen, and a simpler usability experience thanks to macOS. It's pretty much a choice between simple and straightforward for the Mac over the versatile and easily adaptable Asus ROG Zephyr Studio 16. However, when people see Asus ROG, they immediately think gaming, so that's why this video is my effort to help creators to understand that this is an option they should consider, 
as it actually is probably the strongest competitor to the MacBook Pro 16 inch out there, albeit its gaming personality, and feel like a lot of people are missing out on it. I mean last year's option wasn't exactly that much of a competition because it wasn't exactly a great laptop, but this one is. So yeah, check it out. If you are invested in the 14 inch for its more favorable size, and you do have the MacBook 14 inch budget, then fear not, as this has a solution, but you gotta wait till May 9th for that, so don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like, and hit the bell icon to be notified. I personally will still get the 16 inch though, but you do you.